Why, hello. There you are. Yeah, grab your seats. I, I, you know what I used to love about this season? Was get in the car, drive around my dad, and just, exact, and just, you know what? Listen, I'm gonna apologize to all Jewish people. I thought, I thought Jewish people were people that just didn't put on lights during Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I thought all Italians were the ones that put too many lights. <laughs> Because, because that's what I, my father would go, my mom would go, let's drive around and look at all the lights. It's Christmas time, Jim. And my father, my father always like, <laughs> you wanna drive around? Yeah, hey, let's get in the spirit. Jimbo, come on. Hey, I got to come on. I just want to see the reindeer. Can we go by the house with the reindeer? <laughs> I have an old place as a reindeer. <laughs> and my father, my father go like this. Ah, they're, they're Jewish. They're Jewish. <laughs> ah, they're Jewish. Ah. Look at these Italian. Italians love lighting up the whole goddamn lawn. Look at them, trying to outdo each other. They got horns. <laughs> you know who loves Italians? The electric company, that's... They love the Italians during the holidays. <laughs> right? This, this is the season. You're really just trying to outdo your neighbor. That's all you're doing, looking at your neighbor's house. Look at this guy. Why would you, why would you put lights all along the roof? It's ridiculous. You got the people that half-ass it. You got the balloon things. <laughs> you're not even trying. Enough. That's good enough. <laughs> Says we're into Christmas. Just leave it. <laughs> I hate the holidays. I hate them. I do. Just every we do it every year. Every year. Two days before Christmas Eve. Um, where's the closest Sam's Club? <laughs> Just walking around Sam's Club going, I think the kids would be in the box set of Sanford and Son. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this show. This is a big one. Fred Sanford, you fist out boo. What are you watching, Dad? This is Sanford and Son. People over. I hate, hate having people over. I hate it. It's stressful. Dude, my wife's already like, I need the house clean. What? What? I told you people are coming over. You need to. Who suck is this? Who suck is this? Come downstairs. What is it? I told you. No suck for having company. In four days! <laughs> now am I gonna spend my time cleaning up after each and every one of you? <laughs> when do you want me to get your mother? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Flowers, you can't get your mother. Stanford and Son, they got a box set. She loves it. You always got someone at the house you just don't like. 
They just sucked the room out. Ding <laughs> No Christmas just about corporations. All right, shut up. <laughs> Here, here's your picket sign. <laughs> Everything sucks except for me. I just want to plow through the holidays. New Year's, I hate New Year's. I don't get it. I don't get it. Who? What an, what an overrated day. Are you excited? You love it? It's her birthday. Okay, well that's different. <laughs> New Year, that's your birthday. New Year's Eve is my birthday. So New Year's Eve is your birthday. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> it does suck because my wife is a 30th and you always go through Every year, I'll tell you exactly what goes down. What is your name? Jen. Jen. So everyone goes, okay, um, Merry Christmas, Jen. And then three days later, we go, oh, damn it. <laughs> Her birthday is that time. We were planning New Year's and Christmas, and Jen, what do we got? What's left over? What do we not give away? Here you go, Jen, happy birthday. Here's the gift we didn't get the giveaway, but we saved it because we forgot. Happy next to New Year's Eve day. Birthday. Yes. Yeah, sucks for you. You got, you got jacked, you got jacked. Did you get that one extra? Here's a candle, it smells like cinnamon. <laughs> We know you love cinnamon, Jen, and as soon as I saw it, I walked into the candle place, I said, smell the amazing. Why not get this for Jen? She'll love it. Fits your decor. <laughs> Even New Year's. Like what? Does anyone, is anyone really going, Ten more days, New Year's! <laughs> you ready for this? You ready? 2019, coming at ya! <laughs> Life's gonna be so different in 12 more days! I don't know if you heard, but 2019 is on the way! Woo! Come on, I got a marching band for the brown. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate the new year. Get some elephants. <laughs> Those are Jewish people. <laughs> Italians. It's just, it's just a, another day to, who wakes up the next day going, oh, oh, the new year, you know, long out 365, I was waiting, waiting for this. There's so much stress that goes into it. First of all, what are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing for new, what are we doing? Should we go away? Well, it's too late now. You had to get something months ago. I didn't think about it. Were we invited? Well, we invited places, but you never gave me an answer, so I don't know what the hell we're doing. Well, can't we go to a place? It's like $180, but you get champagne and a prime rib. Gina's got two more spots. We have to sign up now. Should we host it? Should we host it? All right, but if we're gonna host it, if your brother comes, he gets wasted, he starts talking politics, and then we get a bicker between <laughs> my nephew and your brother, and we can't get rid of him, so I'm just telling you right now, I'll do it, but he's gonna be a dick. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> Not a good way to bring in the new year. 2019, dick, right off the bat.
And then if you do host it, now, now what? Now you gotta, what do we get? I'm not the Asian, I don't care. I don't care, what do we get? Do we have to get hats? People ask you, you get hats? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I saw we were just hanging out. Or oh, you need hats. <laughs> you're right. You're right. God forbid. Walk into a New Year's Eve party at someone's house and you're drinking eggnog and you're catching your buzz. And you're like, well, yeah, this year's tough. And oh my God, I'm sorry you're going through that. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Fine! You got no hats! <laughs> you got no hats! <laughs> Happy New Year! No, it's not! You got no hats! <laughs> Look at the neighbors, they're all in the window, they all got hats, they're all excited! <laughs> be the hat guy. Who, who's? Those guys are killing it. <laughs> killing it. I got an idea. We're going to make a hat. A top hat. A magic hat. Magicians are not big anymore. So we'll take a magician hat and we'll put Happy New Year on it. And we'll sell it once a year. That's a great idea. <laughs> Mark Cuban says, I'll bomb best on that. <laughs> <laughs> you need a hat and the TV. I mean, what, do you, what is New Year's? What are we doing? What are you doing? You stay home? You have people over? You watch TV? Do you really enjoy those stupid shows? <laughs> it's another thing, same thing every year. Well, it's been a amazing year, hasn't it, Bob? <laughs> Let's put it out standing. I mean, let's look at this year's events. It's just the things that have happened. I mean, you know, oh, hold on. A I mean, we got Mariah Carey's making a comeback today. She's going to be on in a couple hours. We're just, we have such a great show lined up for you today. And what, are, what are some of your resolutions? I, I plan on not being on my phone this much this year, Jolly. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm gonna skip the gluten. <laughs> I can't wait to see Ryan Seacrest. He's exciting. I'm just, oh, we're going to China. It's now New Year's Eve in China. Cut <laughs> the China. Bung, ding, bung, ding, ding, ding. They love the dragons over there in China. Bung, ding, dong, ding. I just think it's fascinating when you think right now it's New Year's Eve in another country and it's not here yet. I mean, if you think about it, you can go from country to country and have like 12 New Year's Eve. I've never even thought about that. I hope you're having a great time. I'll we'll be back after these messages. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And the music, the music. The only people that watch it are the teenagers. Teenagers love New Year's Eve because they play their music. My kid's always like, who's, who's, on, who's on? Who's playing this year, Dad? I don't know, someone who mumbles. I hate, I don't dislike, I hate. My teenagers muse. <laughs> Snap it. <laughs> money, money. N word, N word. Slap it. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh, man. You my dog. Slap it. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. These are the same kids, same girls that are going. You know, I think women are totally, we're, are we getting our respect factor up there? <laughs> Slap it, bitch, choker, choker. Slap it, stupid bitch. Bling, bling, she love it when I... And I, I think we're looked at differently now. And... <laughs> Who's 
Slap it, punch it, bend her over. She like when I'm freaky, she's a freaky, she's a freak. Pam, pom, ping. <laughs> My daughter listens to that and she looks at me and she's like, I think equality is. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wait, we're in London. It's New Year's Eve. We are going to get. Happy New Year's, women, both here. Charlie Ho, here's all hats. London, just a beautiful day as the Spice Girls are reuniting to bring in the 2019 year. <laughs> Every year it's a mate like it's snowing. Who goes, who goes to uh, the city? What, what the hell is it called? Uh, Times what, what? That's, I can't, I got a brain fart. 51, I'm getting dementia. <laughs> Times Square. Times Square. See, we know we don't go there. <laughs> Have you ever done that? If you did it, you did it maybe once. That's, that's my favorite too. Like, we're gonna go to Times Square right now. There's thousands of people down there, Carol. Let's see how they're going. It's two degrees out. <laughs> Charlie, are you there? I'm down there, I'm on the street. You just hear me, a million people. <laughs> Let's, let's talk to this idiot. Where you from, stupid? <laughs> My name is Bill. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. I've had to pee for about nine hours, but we're not allowed to leave here. And there's... So many people, my feet aren't touching the ground. <laughs> well, I'm ready for New Year's. It's two degrees. <laughs> When's Mariah Carey gonna be up? <laughs> we drove 14 hours. We, we've been here since yesterday. We love it. We love New York City. It's a dream come true. Anticlimactic. City too. That's when they, they they get you out immediately. Cops come with horses. That's when it, that's when cops mean business. There's something about there's something about if you've had too much to drink. If you you ever leave an establishment and you see cops, you're like, whoa, something's going on. But if you see. <laughs> Come on! It's a whole bunch of them! 
Please start heading out of the streets. <laughs> Don't pet the horse. Sorry. Right. Oh my God, that horses! That was serious. They don't have horses in Wisconsin. <laughs> Dropping big police turds. <laughs> 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 That's such an intimidating sound. <laughs> okay, we got the message. Let's go. <laughs> you know my favorite part? I do like I do like uh, one part of New Year's Eve. I like the one horn. The horn that goes like this. Something about that horn just makes you feel good. I don't need the hat. I don't need the. You give me that. I love these. Love these. The first thing you do is test it for 10 minutes. Come on, let's do it. sophisticated you are, what kind of country club you belong to, everyone loves going, oh, what do you have? No hats. Oh, dear Lord, these are, these are masterful. <laughs> <laughs> have you gotten one on eight tracks? <laughs> <laughs> How about that guy? See how simple life can be? Can you imagine that guy? Who, cr who created that? It's right under our noses. How did we drop that ball? <laughs> he, had, he's a, he had to be a little off. That's something. It's so brilliant, you're a little off. You, you know what I mean? You had to wear a helmet when you were a kid in the 80s. You had to. You weren't made to, you had to. You gotta wear a helmet, okay? Make sure he wears the helmet. You wear a helmet. <laughs> One day I'm gonna make a horn that's gonna change the world. <laughs> I have this vision, and it looks like. It's gonna look like the shoes from Wizard of Oz that crawl up at the end. And it's gonna make people happy. It's gonna make them happy. They're gonna say, oh, this is gonna be no it goes. <laughs> I mean that guy just pitched it. Crushed it, crushed it on Shark Tank when there's a Shark Tank. Here's my pick. Here's, here's my pitch, okay? Who monopolizes birthday parties and New Year's people? The horn people do. What happens? They become obnoxious and it hurts people's ears. So. I have a very cost-effective, all you do is just take a little bit of cardboard and you make it look like the Wizard of Oz sneaker and shoe that curled up and make people happy. And everyone like the Wizard of Oz. And you put it on the end of the horn and it goes <laughs> Try it, everyone try it. Mark, go ahead, try it. This is interesting, this is interesting. Go on, go on. That guy's crushing it right now. He's, he's in China right now, checking on his factories. Who would have thought? September, he's on a jet. 
Uh, Lee, how we doing? Oh, I'm going to be there in about one hour. Check on the factory, because New Year's coming up. We have different colors. You feel good about them? I feel very good about them, sir. Okay. I'm going to see you in a little bit. You got the whole Chinese army. This is so exciting. Can I try one? <laughs> yeah, good New Year's. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee. <laughs> ah, I wish I was that guy. He's probably got exotic animals in his yard. Right? And this is on the North Shore of Long Island. That's like Billy Joel. <laughs> Billy Joel's got to deal with his giraffes eating his trees every year. <laughs> Bottle of red, can your giraffe not eat my brand new... <laughs> I'm sorry, Billy. I'm sorry. You want, you want one? For your, for your baby? I'm okay. <laughs> Bottle of rum. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Kids are so, they're punks. <laughs> I want a, I want an iPhone. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go feed the homeless this week. What do you think of that? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.